Uh, seven fives is 25. Four fives is 20. Okay. Seven sevens is 49. And once one is one. Okay. So there, there are XY terms. Now what I need is, I don't need just the XY terms. I need the sum of the XY terms for my formula. I need the sum of the X's. I need the sum of the Y's. I need the sum of the X squared columns terms. I need the sum of the Y squared columns terms. Yeah, that's important. So what I need to do is sum up all these values. So I'll just do this on the calculator really quickly. So we have 5 plus 8 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6 plus 7 plus 4 plus 7 plus 1 gives us a total of 45 in the X column. What about the y column? Let's do that. So we have 6 plus 7 plus 4 plus 2 plus 5 plus 6 plus 5 plus 5 plus 7 plus 1 gives us a total of 48 in the y column. And uh, what about the x squared column? Well, we have 25 plus 64 plus 4 plus 4 plus 9 plus 36 plus 49. Okay. Uh, plus 16 plus 49 plus 1 gives us a value of 257. So we have 257 here. Uh, what about the y squared column? Well, we have 36 plus 49 uh, plus 16 plus 4 plus 25 plus 36 plus 25 plus 25 plus 49 plus 1. Okay, that was the sum of these columns here, which gives a value of 266. And then finally, the sum of the xy columns is, well, that's going to be 30 plus 56 plus 8, okay, plus 4, plus 15, plus 36, plus 25, plus 20, plus 49, and plus 1 gives us a total of 254, okay. So now that we have all of our values, let's just keep in mind, maybe I'll use a, just a different colour marker here. This is the sum of the x values. This is the sum of the y values. This is the sum of the x squared values. This is the sum of the y squared values. And this is the sum of the cross products. So this is the sum of the x, the xy's. So our correlation coefficient, we just substitute these in here. So we end up with or is equal to n. Well, n is 10 because there's 10 observations times the sum of the xy's, which is 254, minus the sum of the x's, which is 45, times the sum of the y's, which is 48. Okay, So that's our numerator for our correlation coefficient. And then what we have is the numerator or the denominator has two factors. It's n, which is n, which is 10. That's the number of observations. So it's 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 10 times the sum of the x squareds is 257 minus the sum of the x's, which is 45, and that needs to be squared. And that's this term here. And that needs to be multiplied by this term here, which is going to be it's going to be 10 times the sum of the y squared values. Well, the sum of the y squared values is 266. So it's 266 minus the sum of the y values. Well, the sum of the y values is 48. But that needs to be squared, okay? And it's the square root of this particular this particular uh, denominator, or this particular factor here. Yep, yeah, okay? So I'll just get my calculator now to do these calculations. And what we end up with in this case is, well, on the top we have 10 times 254 is 2540. And I need to take away from it 45 times 48, which gives a value of the numerator here is 380. Okay, 380. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I'm going to do this thing here first, this left part of the denominator, which is 10 times 257, which is 2570, minus 45 squared, gives us a value of 545 goes in here. Okay? And over here we have 2660, that's 10 times 266 is 2660, minus 48 squared, which gives us a value of 356. Okay? And I need to get the square root of that thing here. Okay? So if I do that now, I end up with R is equal to 380 divided by the square root of this product. Let me do that. So it's the square root of 545 multiplied by 356 gives us a value of about 440. Okay, so it's about 440 to round it to the whole number. So this gives us a correlation coefficient 380 divided by 440 gives us a value of approximately 0 0.86. So it's approximately 0 0.86. Okay. 
So that's the strength of our association. But how the hell do we interpret that? Okay, that's important. Okay, how the hell do we interpret it? It's saying, first of all, this is positive. It's a positive value. Okay, this is positive. So there's a positive trend, and it's saying that the trend, the strength of the association is 0.86. Now, there's many ways to interpret this particular value. I mean, there's the there's a particular scale that was developed by Cohn, okay, uh, which is going to tell us that I suppose. Uh, we have a different way to interpret it. The, the one I like to use, and it looks something like this, yeah, okay, but once again, this is quite subjective. What's strong to one person might not be strong to another person, yeah, but the scale I like to use, okay, so interpreting, interpreting, okay, the correlation, the correlation coefficient, the coefficient, so interpreting it, yeah. So what I'm going to have is I have a scale, it looks something like this. Now what we know mathematically is this, is that the correlation coefficient is always a value between minus 1 and plus 1. Okay? It's always, okay, mathematically, that's that's an artifact of the mathematical formula that we have here. Okay? And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create some intervals. Okay? I'm going to say if it's less than that, 0 0.7. If it's less than that, 0 0.3. If it's less than that, minus 0 0.3. If it's bigger than that.